Hey guys, welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and as I promised in my previous video, I will show you step by step how to pair your Sena intercom system with other devices such as Zumo GPS, phone. I will describe also how to pair non-Sena unit with the Sena intercom and as well I will cover the Sena SMH10 in my case, which is another Sena unit. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you'll stay updated when I release new content. And if you enjoyed that video, hit that like button. If you did not like the video, hit the like button twice. And let's jump into this video, not waste any more time, and we'll go over the steps. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to factory reset the Sena Bluetooth on your helmet and also I will clear my uh, phone and Zumo GPS to remove uh, current presets. To reset the unit first you want to turn your Sena intercom on the, by pressing the jog dial and phone button together. Then now what you want to do you want to hold the phone button for 10 seconds and you will see a solid red light here right now it's flashing blue so we'll hold the uh, phone button for 10 seconds okay you see a solid red light now you press the jog dial once and senna is factory reset so now I will go first over mobile phone pairing and to pair the phone uh, first uh, what we gotta do you hold the phone button for five seconds until you hear the phone pairing alternate red and blue light will flash make sure the phone is in a Bluetooth pairing and select on your phone Senna under Bluetooth and you are done some phone will require a pin if needed and it is zero 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 so first what I'll do I'll put the, turn on the Senna again and you want to hold the like I said the phone button for five seconds until you hear phone pairing all right we got a phone pairing right now now I will go over to my phone I will look for Senna your headset is paired, I got a confirmation. So now I have my phone paired to Sena 30K. So next step, I will show you how to pair Sena with your Zumo GPS or as a matter of fact, any GPS. So the process is first, you tap the jog dial for five seconds, then within two seconds of hearing intercom pairing, tap the phone button once you'll hear second mobile phone pairing. And then again, within two seconds, tap the phone button to hear GPS pairing. The green light will indicate your device is in discoverable mode. So now you can select Senna on your GPS at that point. So we'll go over that process. So tap the jog dial for five seconds. Second mobile phone pairing, press it again. GPS pairing. So now we have the green flashing right. So what you do, you press the, the jog dial for five seconds. Then you, within two seconds, you have to press it once. And then within two seconds, press the phone button one more time. So at this point, I can go to my Garmin GPS and find it on my menu. Let's Senna confirm. So now my Senna is paired to my Zumo GPS properly. 
and it says phone connected as well at this point. So in the last step, I want to tell you how you can pair your Senna 30K or most of the other Senna units, um, the newer Sen uh, Senna units with, let's say, Cardo system, which I don't recommend because uh, you will have the problem. There is a way to do it, but uh, you'll have problems for sure. So, but uh, to do it, uh, basically what you will do, you hold the jog dial for five seconds. Once you hear intercom pairing, tap the phone button once within two seconds, you'll hear intercom pairing. Uh, you will hear second mobile phone pairing. Blue LED will flash, indicating it's in discoverable mode. Now, make sure your other non-Sena intercom system is in discoverable mode and you're done. I will link the description down below uh, if you want to go through that process. I'm not going to demonstrate it now because I don't have that um, Sena and Cardot. So now I will show you how to pair two Senna units uh, together and there I have two totally different systems uh, one is uh, Senna 30k and the other one is Senna SMH10 which is the old, older unit so first we want to make sure both units are on and we want to enter the intercom pairing mode which is the jog dial for five seconds We have a confirmation intercom pairing. Now we have a red LED flashing. And I will do the same thing with the SMH10. I don't have it attached to the helmet, but it's the same procedure. I will press the jog dial now for five seconds. We'll see the red flashing LED. There we go, it's flashing. And now I tap the jog dial on my second handset. and they found each other, they paired together. So this is how you pair both systems. As you noticed, I did not use the app. Um, I don't recommend using the app until you completely finish pairing all your devices. So now actually you can go to the app and you can find your Senna within the app, but make sure when you're pairing everything, pair it with the jog dial and the phone button, do it the manual way because I found it when I worked with the mobile app with Senna, I had too many problems. This is the only way that works for me and I'm not getting as many disconnects between the devices. So now I will show you that even though I did not use the app, once I'll go to the app, you will see everything that uh, both of the helmets are listed under the pairing settings in uh, Senna 30K app. So I will go to the app and select my 30K utility app. Okay, then I go to the menu and I will go to pairing list. And as you see, both of my helmets are discovered. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, make sure to hit the thumbs up twice and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Cheers.